Hello, A word now with Brother Fabio. Amen, my brethren. Let the way the brethren, those who are watching us and participating with us to the service of the peace of the Lord Jesus, we're going to open the Word of God in the book of 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel, chapter 15. We're going to read only a few verses from verse First, Second Samuel, a partir do capítulo, no capítulo 15, a partir Second Samuel, from chapter 15, from verse 18. Diz assim a palavra do Senhor. Thus says the word of the Lord, verse 18. Then all his servants passed before him, and all the Cheratites, all the Pelatites, and all the Gitites, six hundred men who had followed him from Gath, passed before the king. Then the king said to Itai the Gitite, Why are you also going with us? Return and remain with the king. For you are a foreigner and also an exile from your own place. Now verse 21. Let's go to verse 21. But Itai answered the king and said, As the Lord lives, and as my lord the king lives, surely in whatever place my lord the king shall be, whether in death or life, even there also our servant will be. So David said to Itai, Go and cross over. Then Itai, the Gitai, and all his men, and all the little ones who were with him, crossed over. Blessed be the Lord. Lord, we glorify your name. We praise you for being yet again in your presence the day in which we are here prostrated before so many difficulties and trials with, with a heart thankful, happy because you brought us to this place. You have sustained us, you have blessed us, and now we ask you that your word may complete the blessing that you have prepared, Lord, to each life tonight. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless us. My brethren, the word of the Lord speaks about a moment that was very difficult in the life of David, amongst many. The word says that David was living a moment of a rebellion uh, from his son Absalom. When his son was trying to take over the kingdom out of the hands of David. And that was a difficult situation for David. You know why? Because the trial came from within his home, from the place that he least expected. Friends of David, people that were beside David for so many years, left him and decided to follow and to serve his son. But the text that we read begins saying, on verse 18, Then all his servants, they were all with David. My brethren, the first teaching of the Lord to us tonight is the following. To serve the Lord is not easy. Have trial, we have tribulation. It's not, it's not something that happened today. The church has gone through a position. It's not something that happened recently or 10 years ago. It has always been like this. But in the moment of trial, the servant of God walk according to the revelation. In the moment of trial, the servant of God knows what is prophetic. Because for us servants of God, what matters to us is the inheritance. David was carrying with him not only the kingdom of Israel, but upon him there was a prophecy, upon him there was an inheritance, 
and his servants, they recognized it. And we are servants of the Lord at this moment of so much indecision, uh, uncertainties. We have walked beside our God and we know where the revelation is. We know where the prophecy is. And the word says that not only the servants were with David, but other peoples of, of the region, peoples that have been enemies of David in the past, they were there together with David. So then there was a character that comes up that we haven't heard about before. We don't know his genealogy, his father or mother, his children who came after him. We don't know. His name is Hittite. And now David asks him, what are you doing here? You are not even an Israelite, you're Jewish. Hittite tells David, go back home, this, this fight is not yours. What are you going to put at risk, you and your family, in a situation in which it doesn't matter to you? David want, wanted to spare the life of Hittite from, from my, some sort of battle and war. So then there came a, an answer from Itai in verse 21. Itai says, As the Lord lives, and as my Lord the King lives, as we know, Itai was not Itai was not an Israelite. He was from the land of Gati, where the Philistines were. And it's funny that I was reading this passage in a while ago, and later on, if, even though we haven't read yet, but we understand that Simei, he was a Benjamite, he was from the tribe of Je Benjamin. So Simei had the right to the inheritance. Simei was part of the people of God. Simei, he rejected, he cursed David, threw stones at him. He said terrible things about David. And then a man that had no genealogy, had no past, because the word doesn't speak about his past. This man takes a stand. He, he knew David from the time in which David defeated Goliath. When David, running away from Saul, went to hide amongst his people and my brethren, Itai was a Gentile, and we, servants of God, we, who, the ones who walk in the presence of the Lord, we didn't have the right to this inheritance. This inheritance that we today live, this joy that we have, this assurance that we have, didn't belong to us as a right. We didn't have right to this. Our destination, our destiny is to live a life like the world lives out there. But it was pleasing to the Lord. And for us to make a decision, Itai says, leave the Lord. This, The Lord that he's speaking about is with uppercase letter. Leave the Lord Jesus. Leave the Lord my King. He knew that. He, David may be going through this trial, but we, but I know who David serves. David may, may be going through this trial, but I know what David is capable of. My brethren, tonight we are walking with the prophecy. We walk together with the inheritance because we know who is with us in this inheritance. We know that the king... We know what the king is capable of, and we know that our God, he is alive. And tonight, the fact that we are connected here with him, we can say, live the Lord, my Lord, your Lord is alive. He is alive. And it is interesting that he says the following, Hail the, live the king, my Lord, and wherever you go, even to death or to life, I will be with you. And then I remember the passage in the book of John that says, he came to his, but his, the ones who were his didn't reject him, rejected him. 
Si Mei rejected the inheritance, and Itai put the inheritance, his inheritance, ahead of his own family and his own life. He could have said, hey, David, you're right. In this fight, this war, you may lose, there may be a war, so I should go home. Since you are uh, so persistent, I may go home. But no, he tied, he placed the inheritance, the fact that he wanted to be near the king, above his own life and the life of his own family. And my brethren, I want to say again, serving the Lord is not easy. But the servant that understands the prophetic, that understands the worth of the inheritance, which is to serve the Lord, he places everything aside, and this inheritance becomes the reason of our lives. And then David completely changed the way he was speaking. David first, he wanted to send him away, send him home. And now in verse 22, he says, Go, and so then come. Come, blessed one, Father. Possess as an inheritance uh, for the kingdom, because it's prepared for you. And David, David says, Come and go ahead of me. Every time we hear this expression, go ahead, pass by me. It speaks about a new phase. It speaks about eternal life. My brethren, I have no right, but because of God's mercy, one day we were able to know this love. And today we are, no, we are able to say that we are no longer servants. We are children because the servants, they don't know the secrets, but we know the secret of this work of the Holy Spirit. We are children. We are friends. My brethren, what the Lord has for us is not to send us home. Not at all. What the Lord has for us is to say, my servant, go ahead of me. Go ahead. And the word says that the Itai was not saved alone. All his friends went with him and all the children that were with him. So, if you believe, not only you will receive your blessing, but your entire family, the ones who are near you, who have been praying for our neighbors, our friends, the ones who are beside us, the ones who are around us. My brethren, the promise of God is so great that the blessing is for us, and then it overflows this and reaches the ones who are around us. My brethren, the word for us tonight is that this inheritance, the inheritance, the inheritance that one day we, we knew, the love that one, one day rescued us, today we need to give worth to this work, the work of the Holy Spirit it has sustained us to this day, has helped us, has blessed us, has given us victories, the trials may come, but the victories and the experiences with our Lord are much greater. And we tonight need to give the proper worth. Understand that this inheritance, this work of God, needs to be above all the things in our lives. And if our stand, if our position is the same as the one that Etai had, the desire of the Lord is that we go ahead of him, to go to eternal life. It's not a victory for this life. It's a constant victory. Until Jesus returns and we're going to go to heaven, it will be only joy, glorification, adoration to our God. And the word says there will be no longer trial, tribulations, no longer tears and sadness. The Lord is going to dry up our tears. My brethren, that's what sustains us in this work. There's no promise of any financial gain. No. What sustains us in this work is to know that one day we're going to go ahead and we're going to be with our Lord forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us. Let us sing a song and glorify the Lord.
Amém, irmãos. Gostaria de pedir algum irmão que possa glorificar o Senhor e após a glorificação eu passo a palavra ao pastor Ronildo. And after the glorification, I'm going to relay the, the Senhor, word to the pastor Ronildo. Te adoramos. Lord, we nós praise you. Te glorificamos, Senhor. We thank you, Lord. Firstly, amada, for your beloved church, recebeu, we know that you have received servos, from the mouth of your servants louvor, the best praise e que nós and also knowing that we are clean, palavra, being clean to this wonderful word que o that you have provided for us tonight, and you have given us a mission, the greatest missions, mission of all, which is to rescue lives through this same word. We have been honored to serve you every day, Lord. We know always that you sustain us, give us the bread, Lord, and strengthen our steps, Lord. And with the same faith and the same hope, we hope, Lord, we are anxious for your return to the day of the wonderful Esse blessing nossa, in which Senhor, we are going to meet with you, Lord. Face face. This is our desire, Deus, Lord, to Pai, see you face to face. Noite, Blessed be your name, Lord, for this night of glorification and adoration to your name, Lord. Bless are you, Lord. Receive all your honor before your altar in the name of Jesus. My brethren, peace of the Lord. I've come to the end of the service like to make ourselves available to whoever need prayer. We have a group of workers, deacons, and sisters, a group of women that have done visits, and whoever needs any assistance or any even prayer, you can look for us, you can look for the responsibles for the groups, or make yourself uh, known here, and we're going to pray for you. Let us stand up, we're going to pray for the service. Lord God, we praise your name, Lord, for yet another night in your presence, for because another day we have been able to glorify you, Lord. After uh, a day that was hard, tiring, in the midst of the trials, in the midst of the tribulations, we can dedicate those moments to you and to ask, Lord, that you may receive our glorification, our gratitude to you, Lord, and that you may turn into blessings not only for us, but also that you may reach our homes, our families, our churches, Lord, who are represented here. Lay your hands upon our, li our lives, send your angels, and that you may minister your acts of justice of the Lord upon our lives. Operate in, in a glorious way, removing, Lord, any tiredness, removing the lack of faith, the incredulity, and even, Lord, the physical side. We ask that you may operate, giving health, hiding us under the blood of Jesus against any type of infirmity, Lord. Give us access to your holy presence. The prayer that we say, I really thankful in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, be upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The brethren may be seated. We're going to take advantage of this moment to thank the ones who are visiting us here through YouTube and also Zoom. We have a couple of brethren from Brazil that have watched us. We are missing many brethren from the church here. Yesterday and today, have 
uh, uh, drop in, in the number of participants. Let's pray, we pay attention. We have only two services per week, so we need, this is the only moment from our church to be available to know what is happening to the brethren. I'm going to ask the ones who can on Mondays and Tuesdays to set aside this time to praise the Lord. We understand that very soon we are going to back to the service, but in the meantime, while it doesn't happen, this is the only way for us to be with the brethren. Amen. I'm going to take advantage of this moment to pray for Sister Marcia and Sister Marie Marisa. She, they are celebrating their birthday today. Yesterday we prayed for two, and today we're going to pray again for two people. We are going to ask for the Corporation of the Brethren, who can stand up. I'm going to ask you to stand up so that we can pray. I'm going to ask for the deacons to pray with lay of hands. So let's pray for the two sisters. Lord God, once again we pray for the power of the blood of Jesus. Presenting to you, to you these two servants, we're celebrating yet another year of, of in your presence, Lord. A year of victories and deliverances, a year in which they can testify of your power upon our, their lives. We ask now that in this new year that is coming, that it may be a, a, a year that is even more blessed and that they may have the opportunity to dedicate their lives more to you, Lord, and seek your face even more and to know even more of your mysteries. Give to them, Lord, a gift from the part of the Lord. Give to them everything that they need in their spiritual life as well as their physical life, in their health, at work, in their secular life, so that your daughters at that moment may receive this gift from you, Lord. We ask a special blessing to each one of them, Lord. We glorify your name for everything they have done in their lives. We are really thankful, Lord. We as a church, we are thankful to you because we have them here in this, uh, in this place, Lord, as sheep. Uh, they have been a blessing to all of us, being with them together, struggling on this battle towards the eternity of the Lord. We already pray, thankful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We would like to wish to Marsha and Sister Marisa, or we want to send our greetings to her, to them as a friend and as church, so that the Lord may continue to bless them. If anybody had a spiritual gift, you can state at this moment. Otherwise, we're going to leave, allow everybody to open up their microphones and say goodbye with the peace of the Lord. Parabéns, Tia Marcia. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Irmã Marcia. Deus abençoe vocês. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. E a paz de Deus em Deus a todos. Amém, pastor. Amém. Paz do Senhor, igreja. Paz do Senhor. Paz do Senhor. Paz Senhor, igreja. Paz do Senhor, Evandro. Parabéns. Paz do Senhor. Paz do Senhor. Paz do Senhor, parabéns, Marisa. Parabéns, Marisa. Paz do Senhor. Paz do Senhor. Deus te abençoe. Amém.